Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid, so the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Let's get right into this. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. <clears throat> okay. Reading angels send messages to protect me in divine relays. I do this reading for Gemini. Show me clear and honest messages for Gemini. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Spirit, how does this person feel about Gemini? Okay. Someone wants a second chance here with you, Gemini. I feel like um, they're looking back at whatever happened between the two of you and they're they're evaluating, they're judging themselves. Um, I feel like they know what they did wrong. I feel like at the time they, they acted like and even said they did nothing wrong, but I feel like they've taken time to, yeah, basically judge themselves and they're like reevaluating the situation. I feel like you're going to get a lot of messages from them. So let's just, let's keep going here. Tell me more, Spirit, how this person feels about Gemini. They want another chance, Gemini. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Cups. This person sees happiness with you. They see a family with you, whatever that might look like. They see being able to love you unconditionally and wanting the same from you. It being very reciprocal. I feel like at once at one point you both experienced quite a lot of happiness and love between the two of you. And I feel like that's why also this person is really is wanting this other this another chance because I feel like they've taken the time to realize like holy like holy like look what I had with Gemini. Yeah. This person sees you as their happiness. Let's keep going. Spirit, tell me more about how this person feels about Gemini. Okay. So I feel like this person could have been a, like is a workaholic here. I feel like um, they were very set on reaching a certain level of financial stability for themselves. And they I'm seeing the eight of wands again here. Um, they they were like obsessed almost with their work obsessed with their money and also like obsessed with like the material world i'm hearing like if they drove a really nice car for instance they like were obsessed with their car and like used that to like i don't know show off in a way um i feel like this person is also obsessing over like if they have a home, for instance, if they've bought a house, like they want you in it, like they want you there. But like, let me clarify, clarify the devil. You could be dealing with a, a Capricorn, a Taurus or a Virgo. There's a little bit of water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me more about the devil spirit. Tell me more about the devil. Yeah, okay. I feel like this person can have, like, says stupid shit. Like, they, they say things and then they, like, instantly regret them. I feel like it comes from a place of ego. Like, we all have an ego, right? But I feel like this person um, has the tendency to, yeah, just, like, say dumb things, like, almost impulsively. Like, I'm feeling, like, the Knight of Swords energy here. Like, just saying things, like, and then being, like, Oh my gosh, why did I even say that? But they, I don't feel like they've said this to you yet. And, and they're judging themselves for what happened. And they want another chance. Tell me more about the devil. 
Tell me more about the devil here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay. This this person, look at that. Here they are here they are showing up as the king of pentacles, obsessed with work. This person yeah, they could be very egotistical at times. Like they're like they're just the type of person where like it's like they need to do things how they want to do things. But this person is obsessed with having you by them their side. They want you as their queen of pentacles there. They want you to sit next to them. They want to I feel like they want to provide for you financially. They want to offer this cup of love here, but I feel like it's like in an obsessive way a little bit. Like that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person hasn't stopped thinking about you. I feel like um they have have gone over in their head so many times about what they want to say to you and how they want to say it but but i feel like they sit in in this aries um, emperor energy here where it's like they feel like it's only there, there's only one way to do it like they say stupid shit then they regret it and sometimes their ego gets in the way where they can't apologize after but this person wants to offer you a cup of love here they want to build with you. They want to offer you whatever wealth they've accumulated. This person wants to give it to you. But I'm also feeling like they can use their wealth at times to like, like I was saying, like show off. That's what I'm getting. But they feel like you're, you're a match here. Like you are a divine match here. I also feel like they um, see you as very grounded yourself. Like you're very down to earth, Gemini. And this person likes that about you. Anything else about the devil? I always have to like extra clarify Mr. Capricorn there. Yeah, this person's wounded. This person's wounded. I feel like their their way of showing off with material things is is a way it's like a cover up. It's a mask. It's it's a way of them f feeling less insecure, feeling less wounded, so to speak. I feel like they've been through quite a bit emotionally and you know we all have but I also feel like that's why they they messed this up before I feel like they said or they said something that was really stupid and they left it like it didn't mean anything and like it didn't matter and this whole time they've been thinking about it and they've been judging themselves and they've been wanting another chance with you and they want you to come and be their divine match here and I, I feel like they I almost feel like they're gonna offer you something in the material like something a, a gift like, it could literally be a home. It could literally be like, move in with me. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was feeling. Um, sorry for that siren. Okay, so let's see their next actions. This is going to be two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Gemini? In the next two to four weeks. The High Priestess. So... They're, they're, they're waiting. They're watching. They're observing you. I feel like they're waiting for the right time to come forward here. I also feel like they're, they're trying to evaluate whether or not you're on the same page as them. Have you moved on, for instance? Do you, would you still take them back? I also feel like whatever material gift that they're trying to get ready for you, basically, they, they want it to be perfect. I don't know why. That's, anyway... I also feel like this person, like if, if you're minding your business, Gemini, and, and then all of a sudden this person pops into your mind, you're like, what the hell? Like, why are, why am I thinking about them? It's because they're thinking about you. I feel like there's a deep spiritual connection here between the two of you. Tell me more about this person's actions. The Page of Cups. They're going to apologize. I feel like they're wait, they're watching, they're observing. They're being silent for now. They're, they're, and they're, they're also following their intuition. Like I feel like so, there's going to be some sort of sign from the universe that tells them like, okay, go towards Gemini now. And they're going to come apologize. And it's going to come out of nowhere here, just like that, that little fishy popping up there. They're going to apologize. This person could be younger than you or you just feel like they're immature at times. Um, but yeah, they're going to apologize to you. Tell me more, Spirit, about this person's actions. I almost saw the page of pentacles again or i guess you could be dealing with the pisces here yeah heavy pisces energy or a taurus or a capricorn yeah, this person could be spying on you um this person wants a higher level of commitment here with you they do 
But there's this aspect of like not telling you everything right away. That's what I'm getting. Like especially what I feel like there's some sort of material gift that they're trying to like get ready. I don't know why I'm getting that. And, and they're not fully telling you. But this person wants a higher level of commitment here with you. So, you know, whether that's officially being labeled as something, I, I, I'm really feeling moving in, moving in together, engagement, um, whatever it looks like. But that's what this person wants. They're going to apologize. But there's something like that they're not fully telling. Tell me about the moon. They're working on something. I'm telling you, they're working on something. And I feel like it has to do with something material here. I honestly feel like this person could be buying a house right now getting it ready and then when they come back to you they'll like you agree to hang out with them and they'll and they'll bring you to this house and you'll be like oh wow this is a nice house whose house is this and they're like this is the house that i want you and i to move in together and you're gonna be like what like what are you talking about i on i don't know why i'm getting that storyline but this that's what kind of gifts this i feel like this person's working on something they're not fully saying what it is but they want this higher level of commitment here with you gemini wow i mean it's a it's a very nice gesture right the energy i'm getting is like this person worked hard for it they worked hard and they want to share their wealth with you but I mean, depending what they want a second chance for, another chance for, you could be like, it doesn't matter what kind of gift you give me. See you later, right? It's going to be different for everyone. But this is the energy that is coming through. So let's see their intentions. What's this person's intentions here? Spirit with Gemini. Thank you for the messages so far spirit tell me this person's intentions with gemini look at that look at that okay i gotta pull on that knight of wands but this person is coming forward as the emperor right and 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 then the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles came out now the empress is coming out we have the star aquarius okay Okay, I'm understanding now. You you could have Aquarius energy or Aries, heavy on the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, heavy on the Pisces too. This person wants to heal. They want they they want to heal. Um, if if they were inconsistent before and they were hot and cold with you, and they just gave you mixed messages. This person wants to heal that. They're hopeful that this can work and they want to treat you like their empress here. Remember, there's no gender in tarot. So if you're a male Gemini watching this, this person just wants to cater to you. They, they want to nurture this connection. They want to offer you something stable materially. I feel like um, this person wants to move on from the past but heal it like heal heal that inconsistency behavior i feel like they've done a lot of thinking they've done a lot of judging of themselves and their behavior here because the knight of wands is like the player right the, it, like hot and cold inconsistent that person wants to heal this and they want to show you what you are to them which is you are their empress Right? And we all have divine masculine and feminine energies in us. So it's not about gender. But this person wants to embody the masculine energy of taking action, being a leader, going for it. And they want to you to receive. Tell me more about the star. Yeah, they, they don't want to be indecisive anymore. They don't want to go back and forth. Yeah, look at that. They don't, they don't want to be indecisive here you're also getting two twos back to back here they want to come together here with you they see you as their soulmate you know and soulmates for me are those people that you're just instantly drawn to instant familiarity instant recognition on a level you don't really understand like you just get along so well right away it's because your souls already recognize each other right this person wants to heal that they don't want to be indecisive anymore they want to come together here with you in that two of cups energy it's it's quite beautiful and honestly gemini i know some of you are going to be sitting there saying screw this person they don't get another chance and that's totally fine but for those of you who feel like no okay you know this this is another chance and we could do this i, I honestly do feel like this is genuine this person wants to come together with you they want to apologize they want to offer you something stable and they want to treat you like the empress that you are something long term here grounded 
stability. And I honestly feel like this person has been working on their money quite a bit, or they could have already been at a, a point with good with their money, but they want to share it with you. They want you to be part of their wealth, their empire. Wow, it's quite beautiful, Gemini. I do have to say. It feels nice and it feels genuine. So let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome between Gemini and this person? The Five of Swords. What the hell is that? Tell me more. Okay, so this person wants to move away from mind games. They want to move away from self-sabotaging, mostly, is what I'm getting. I feel like this person sabotaged this connection before. I feel like they're wounded and they guarded themselves and they didn't give you what you needed in this connection. And they want to move away, far away, from that sabotage. I honestly feel like if you thought this person was, you know, messing around, like, or what I'm getting at is you had a separation period. I feel like you're still in it. And you feel like this person could be messing around with other people during that time. This person's been in, in solitude, I feel. And they've really been judging themselves and like what they've done. Because I feel like they know what they lost with you, Gemini. You could be dealing with a cancer here. They said go to the other deck, so let me do that. Tell me about the potential outcome between Gemini and this person, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. <clears throat> Okay, you're getting the same energy here. Five of Swords again, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to offer you something solid. Here. Like it, there's something material this person wants to offer you. I really feel like it could be a house for some of you. It's the same energy. It's literally the exact same card here. Sabotage. I feel like this person know what knows what they did, and I feel like they they were like left out in the cold here. They want a fresh new start here. You see how like this is. This is fresh. It's new roots. And then it, it slowly grows. They want to nurture this with you. Like they want to move past this energy here. This is the second time my cards have synced up too. This is definitely a soulmate here. Um, tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this Five of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person knows what they did. They know that they messed this up. That's way too many. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, Spirit. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. You're getting the same energy. And there, there's the Two of Cups at the bottom. You're getting the exact same energy. This is how this person feels about you. That they want you to be beside them and, and enjoy, I heavily feel like, whatever wealth they've accumulated. But they want something grounded and stable and like like um build on strong foundation with you and now it's coming out in the potential outcome heavy earth energy pisces or pisces could be a pisces but taurus virgo capricorn coming through here this person wants stability here with you they they want i'm hearing like go on go on dates get to know each other be friends first even like they want to build a, a solid foundation here Oof. the devil's coming out again for how they feel and now the potential outcome. They want to balance this out. Like it, there's some sort of obsession with wanting to give you some sort of material gift here, but they're trying to balance it, I feel. I'm going to keep clarifying Mr. Devil here. Could be done with a Libra or um, a Capricorn. They're trying to find balance here because I feel like they know, they, they could, like I said, they could have been obsessed with work. They could have thrown themselves into work or like the material world kind of like showing off with like material and they're and I feel like they're trying to balance that here. But tell me more about the devil here, spirit. Tell me about the devil, spirit. I'm telling you, Gemini, the world, completion here. I feel like whatever energy this person was like obsessed with like looking a certain way or having certain money or whatever, like I feel like they're trying to balance that, but they also want to share it with you. They want to complete that cycle. And look at this, the Knight of Pentacles, like a solid offer, right? It's, it's slow moving. I feel like that you could have felt like this, this took a long time here. But I feel like it's something, it's, and it's to do with the material world. I feel like this person wants to share their wealth with you. I don't know why I just keep getting that. I know I keep repeating myself, but like spirit just really wants you to know that. Tell me more about the devil. Mm. 
the eight of cups and strength yeah i feel like this person would run away from their emotions here they hold back could be dealing with a leo if this devil card came out by itself i would have been like mm. but because it came out with the justice card and like trying to balance here I, I i feel like this person's trying to understand themselves better here trying to understand why they walk away why they hold back why they're so guarded and I feel like they're really like their love language could be giving gifts. So that's why they're really obsessed with giving you something materially. Tell me more about the devil spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. The ace of swords, the empress and the five of wands are like the same energy coming out here. This person wants to talk. They want to have a conversation here about how much you mean to them, but also that they're going to fight for this. That's what I'm getting. Like if, if there are other options in your realm right now, just because you've been separated from this person, they're like, I'm going to fight for this. And I feel like that's why they're giving you such a big gesture of like something material because that's their way of, of kind of showing their love. I feel like that could be a love language of theirs, giving gifts. Yeah. Anything else, Spirit? Let's go to this deck. Anything else about the potential outcome? This person thinks very highly of you. Yeah, look. Queen of Cups. Love. And then I'm seeing the sun. Honestly, Gemini, like if you're like, screw their gift, I don't care. I get it. But if you're not and you're like, okay, you know what? I'll give them another chance. I do feel like there's deep love here. You know, the Ten of Cups was the second energy to come out. I feel like there is deep love here. I feel like this person's working on balancing something. I, I feel like they're quite obsessed with you. I got to keep it real. And they're obsessed with like <laughs> having you in their home. Like they're going to fight off any sort of competition here. Not actually, but maybe. I don't know. But let's let's just go deeper here. So I'm using the Mystic Red Rose Oracle. All of my decks are listed in the description box. Actually, let's go like this. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini here? Clock. Needing time cycles and takes time, time to heal. Progressing. Yeah. I feel like this person's been taking a time out to like understand themselves better like the hermit isn't here but i'm getting hermit energy of just like reflection judging self we got hammer sabotage and rebuild persistent working on it repairing we got sunglasses watching looking perception stalking that's what i was saying i feel like this person's just like observing you they're just like watching and like waiting for the time to come forward. They are going to apologize though, it looks like. And we got passion. Insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. Mm -hmm. You could have felt like a strong physical connection with this person. We got Phoenix, new phase and rekindle, renewing growth, changed mind, rise from ashes. Mm hmm. Any other messages for Gemini spirit? We got Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. Struck by love. I'm telling you. It's going to come out of nowhere here. And then we got date. Get back out there. Meeting someone new. Setting a date. Date online. But I feel like this person wants to date you. Like they want to get back to the basics. Building a solid like, you know, friendship. Death, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform, what's dead is dead. Grow and transform is what's standing out to me, but like I said, there could be some of you out there who's like, who feel like this, this is done, this is not, you know, this is not for me, and that's fine too. And then we got grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. Yeah, I feel like stability and security is important this, for this person, especially financially, like they're working towards financial freedom and we got paradise happiness and joy playfulness enjoying each other honeymoon phase they're gonna take you there gemini <laughs> that could be the gift 
right? They could be like, come on this, you know, all paid vacation. I'm seeing love at the bottom. And then we got camera, reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, perception. Reminiscing and learning from the past is really standing out for me. Anything else for Gemini? We got talking, interested, awaiting messages, text, calls, email, talking more. Yeah. I think there's one more. Well, that's too many. Is there one more card spirit for Gemini? Thank you. We got sword and rose, clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. This person is very determined to have you by their side. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so let's go here. Um, let me just shuffle these. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini here? Oh, right away. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. There's that emperor card. I feel like this person feels like you are it for them. We got the two of cups, the king and queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles twice. You got the emperor, the empress. This person feels like you are it, Gemini. I'm just, the energy I'm feeling is that I feel like some of you are going to be like, it's too bad, like too little, too late. But the other energy I am feeling is like this, there, there's work to be done, right? It's not going to be perfect just because you and this person come back together, but they, they do want this with you. And then you got a win-win outcome is forecast. So I feel like no matter what happens, Gemini, whether you give this person another chance or not, it's you're going to be just fine. And then we got have faith in your dreams. Anything else, Spirit, for Gemini? Expect powerful change. Probably my favorite card in this deck. And conclusions are within reach. I'm also seeing the answers you need are coming. That's full moon in Gemini. That's your energy. Okay. So let's see what comes out here. Spirit, any messages for Gemini here? We got no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then, Spirit, any messages for Gemini? Exchanging gifts. What am I telling you? I'm telling you. This person wants to give you something here. You could be seeing twos or sevens or nines. Let's read this one. 27. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the essential meaning is the law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. Like, I feel like this person, like like I was saying, like, actually wants to give you a gift here. Okay, Gemini, so let's see. So these could be initials of you, this person, numbers you're seeing, birth dates, anything. Take it how it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean that it's not your reading. So we got V... O, W, R, O again, U, A, H, the number one, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Gemini, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so, so much for all of your beautiful energy, love and light.